Hi, first grade friends. It's Mrs. Brownell here. How are you today? I cannot wait to talk to you about some math. All right, so I have an image on your screen, actually four images, and what do you notice about them? Take a minute to think about that. Have you noticed anything about the color or how many pictures or what's in the picture? Now I want you to notice a little bit closer. Yesterday we talked about doubles. Do you see anything in the picture that reminds you of doubles? Were you noticing the pennies? Give a thumbs up if you think the pennies are doubles. Thumb way up. It's a double because there's five on the top plus five more on the bottom, and when you add a number two times, it makes it a double. Five and five is 10. Good. Is there another picture that's showing a double? Hmm. Do you see the nickels? Yeah, the nickels are a double, right? Because it's one nickel and one more nickel. Together, one and one is two. You have two nickels, that's a double. Very good, friends. Let's keep talking. Here I have um, a lot of doubles for you to notice, okay? You could go through and solve these, but you don't need to yet. What I want you to notice is one and one is two. Look at the answer there. Two and two is four. Three and three is the same as six. What do you notice is happening here between two and four? and six. Do you see a pattern? I know you guys are good math, math, mathematicians and good investigators. I wonder if you're noticing a pattern. Is it one more each time or something else? You're right, it's two more each time. If I have one and one here, I add one more to go up to two and one more to go up to two. And so each time we go up, there's a pattern of two more. So what would it be here? Two, four, six? Hmm. I heard somebody say eight. You are right. Good. Well, I want you, when you are working through your doubles work today, um, I want you to think about what patterns you're finding, okay, when you are solving doubles. All right? Off you go, mathematicians. Have a great day.